Hi there, once again from me, Mishka. It's wonderful to be with you again. It's always good to spend a Friday time with you. And I want to say to you today that your time is important. And I honor the fact that you spend time with me. I know how important time is. And I value time very, very high. I value people's time. I know it's one of the things in my life that I don't have a lot of, and I need to make sure that I use every moment to the optimum. And I'd like to encourage you. And when I speak to you about time and the effect that it has on our finances and the decisions that we need to make, you may ask me today, Mishka, now what are you talking about? And I want to get right into it because finances is one of those areas that actually can bring a lot of unhappiness. Finances can be the cause of so much. Or let me rather say it's not the finances. It is the way we handle it and it's the way we manage it. And it's the, it's the role that it plays in our lives, you see. Um, I think if we do not manage it correctly, it can actually be devastating. Very often, um, we don't understand that we're going through certain seasons in finance even. And we know that we have to make sure that we can live once again in the rhythm of it. Now, often... In the I Am series, I'm talking about that factor that we were born with, that factor that is who we are, the purpose that we are here for. How does that relate to finances? Well, that relates to everything in our lives, number one. That's the first thing that I want everybody that listens to this series to become more and more aware of, is to say, I'm in this situation and if I have to make a decision in the situation based on the I am factor inside of me, not, remember, based on my circumstances, not based on perhaps the expectation of other people, but the I am inside of me, I'm going to make a different decision. And that is directly linked to our finances. You see, we learn and we get a couple of things in life. We, list, we go through certain lessons. We, we have people that teach us about money. But money is seriously one of those things that can actually run our lives. <laughs> and when it starts to do that, now when I say that, I'm very careful in saying it, but I do think you're going to agree with me when you sit back and you think, why is she saying that? Because it's not the money, it's sometimes even the lack of it. Because remember, now we think, Hmm, okay, so I've got so much, I can do so much and so much and so much and so much, which is good. Well, sometimes I don't even think, I just do it. <laughs> and then it it's, might be the wrong decision. We may make a decision based on pressure from the outside. You might be a person who loves to have a surrounding yourself, to surround yourself with people, and they may just encourage you to spend your money wrong, you know, and not think about the consequences of that. Once again, if it's an outside factor, or if it's in circumstance to dictate what should happen with our money, anything related to our finances, we're starting to tread on dangerous ground. Because there is possibly nothing more that's got the same amount of pressure in today's society than money. That puts a lot of pressure on. So whether you have it or whether you don't, because it is one of the greatest driving forces behind most things that happens. And to a certain degree, when I say that, I, that's a reality. So I can't tell you that's going to change. It won't. That is why it's so important to know inside of you who you are. Who am I? What is it that I am here for? What is it that I need to do? What, what is the goal that I've set out there? We see, once again, get back to that factor inside of us. Now, I think I have, I have shared this with you before about the time that I have lost the car, remember, when I was in the accident. That had a direct impact on my finances. So immediately there was nothing left. I may be speaking to you today and you have very little in your bank account or maybe nothing. 
maybe you don't have a, a job even today. I don't know. Perhaps you're really in a position right now where your life feels like there's absolutely no hope because of finances, because you've got nothing, because you don't know what to do next. You see, oftentimes, when we're in that situation, finances start to steer our lives, or the lack of finances, lack of money, you see, or, the, or start to steer it, and then it becomes dangerous. It's really important to be able to go back to who you are, because the answer is not lying with the money, it is lying inside of us. The answer is, if I'm going to still get out of my bed and make a decision that I'm not going to give up. You see, understanding who you are, who I am, is exceptionally important in those situations. That I'm going to talk to you today about having money and about not having it, because both those things is of utmost importance when, that, you need, that we need to know who we are. And the I am factor inside of us will steer that in the right direction. Now, if we don't have the money, do we change? Who am I, regardless of my bank account? If I've got a lot of money, do I think I'm better? <laughs> Say, for instance, I've been poor, and now I can become rich. Am I all of a sudden a better person? You see, then there's a problem. Because money should not define who we are. The I am factor is f is far more precious than the money. And as we can see that, it's so much easier to get out of a situation where we are in. It's so much easier to stand up and say, I'm not going to stay in it. I'm actually going to get out of this. Because we steer, if we know who we are and we know what our purpose is, you and I have got the absolute right to steer our lives to a place where it changes again. Then we need to rely on what's deep inside of us. But oftentimes, the sad thing is, when where there's a lack of money, do you know what happens? People start to, to doubt who they are. We lose our self-confidence. We stop believing. We, we don't know. We think that our identity and who we are is directly linked to a bank account. It's got nothing to do with your bank account. If we can understand that the I am inside of you is so beautiful and so powerful and you know exactly what you're supposed to go and do, you understand your purpose, I'll tell you one thing, money will eventually just come because you will be so beautiful in what you do that people are going to come to you and say, well, don't you want to do it for me? Do you know that a person may have absolutely nothing in their bank account, but if they don't think about it, and they just understand how precious they are and that they've got all these things. Go sit back today and say, what do I have? Most of us have everything. You know, from top to head to toe, whatever you want to call it. There are, there are a lot of people and then there are people who have got body parts missing. And I tell you one thing, some of them I just admire so much because they get up in the morning and they still do so much with their lives. But all of us have the exact same amount of hours a day. There's not one of us has got a little bit less and the other one a little bit more. You know, there's no prejudice. 24. 24. That's it. It's never changed <laughs> since the day I was born. You were born today. 24 hours. What we do with it, that's what makes a difference. Not only that, the body, we have it. We need to just get up and do something with it. Then we need to go inside and say, what do I have inside of me that will be able to make money again? What do I have to trade, you see, for money? Because if you're unemployed, the, the thing I need to ask is, what can I give in order for somebody else to see the value inside of me? that they will trade it for the money. Can you understand that? So oftentimes people just start to go down and down and down and down because they start to think about the balance in the bank account. Do you see, understand the balance in the bank account is completely, you know, regardless of the fact. Does it really matter? It's what we are. Then if we start to see that and we step into that interview when we see a position advertised, the opportunity will come to us. I had an absolute amazing experience when I was, was doing a project for one of the major companies in South Africa and we did a rollout throughout South Africa and 
we had to employ people who sell stuff on commission. Can you believe it? And I'll never forget it. I was, at that time, I didn't stay in Cape Town, but um, I was in different areas to, to, to manage the role out. And as I was in Cape Town, interestingly enough, there was a guy, a gentleman, that as I walked out the day of training, and I was desperate to get more people in Cape Town, we didn't have a lot, he, he was like coming up to me, he didn't have shoes on, no shoes, and he was running up to me and he said, ma'am, can I please take your bag, can I help you? And I thought, wow, what a willing person he is. It immediately caught my attention. And I asked him, aren't you not, are you not looking for a job perhaps? And he said, yes, I want a job. I said, well, be here tomorrow morning. I still said to him, Sham, he had to wear this, the black pants and the white shirt. And he, and he was there and he had to actually go and borrow. So really, he was somebody that did not have a bank account. I think we still had to organize a bank account at that point. But he was such a treasure because I looked into his face. And the fact that he says, can I help you? Can you, can I carry your bags? Can I take something for you? And I just knew he's going to do so well. And we did. We started training him the next day and he became one of our best consultants. He actually came out of his financial situation. So what am I saying? That is having no finance, got nothing to do with the I am. Stay in touch with who you are. Because that, if we stay in touch with that, it will always come back again and it will start to make the money come back. Now, do we change? That's a question I asked a little bit earlier. Finances. What about when we have a lot of it? Is that really a different person? Do my personality change? Yeah, I think to a certain degree, it is normal for people when you maybe, you know, to feel a little bit more confident and, you know, when you have finances and you've got everything that you need. It makes, certainly makes life a lot easier. But can you understand when I say that there should actually be no difference? Because it should never determine who we are. The I am factor determines who we are. Because should we have a lot and anything goes wrong and we don't know who we are and we make a wrong decision, I've also known the, seen the opposite is that people could make the wrong decision based on pressure because the pressure becomes more important than the I am factor, can you see? So if I still make a decision because I know who I am and that is driving the process, so I am in charge of the situation, then I can keep good, um, good track and good of my finances. Then I know when I shouldn't do something but when the pressure comes, understand that people who have a lot has, has also got a lot of pressure. And when the pressure comes and we still make the decision based on the I am factor, in other words, I know who I am, I know what my purpose is, I know what I'm doing, I know why I'm doing things. I'm not just doing it because everybody wants me to do it. I'm not just buying the car because somebody else told me or the house or the whatever. I'm, I'm not committing to debt. I don't go into overly into debt. I really want to tell you something. Just get over it and don't get into debt if you don't have to. You know, as much as you can, live a life where you can make the decision to rather have a, you know, use your skill to get wealth, to get that wealth into your hands and live with that, start to drive with it. Now you come into the place, like I said, and if we get the pressure of our circumstances to make the decision, even if we are wealthy, if we make the wrong decision and we lose everything, the, I've seen that before. What is left here? So the question we should ask ourselves is, if I wake up in the morning and I've got nothing in my bank account, or if I wake up and I've got a million, two million, three million, I don't really care how much in your bank account, does it make a difference to who you are? It shouldn't. We all have the ability, the time, remember? We all have the ability, the body, and we all have at least people around us. We all have something to offer. It's a skill to offer to someone else, to trade, to get into the rhythm of finances, to manage it according to the I am and nothing else. If we do that, we will live lives that are so much better and so much more fulfilled. And people will see the beauty inside of us as well.
All right, well, my time is up for this week. It's been absolutely wonderful again to spend time with you. Next week, I would like to talk to you about the I am factor and business. So if you are in business or planning to go into business, I invite you to join me again next week Friday. From me, Mishka Toth. Until then, goodbye.